college football gambling picks for week one. Now, this is what we love. This is going to be rapid fire. We've each got seven picks. That is what the William Hill Sportsbook, Superbook, whatever you want to call it. Um, they do seven picks. Now, theirs are against the spread. We're going to do over, under, against the spread, whatever, whatever you like. All of mine are against the spread this week. That'll probably change next week. We'll see. Uh, this is brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You can watch and wager on all of these games at any of Tunica's five, soon to be six, incredible sports books The Horseshoe, Samstown, Gold Strike, Hollywood, First Jackpot, and opening soon, the sports book at the Fitz Casino. You can get more information at tunicatravel.com. College football gambling picks week one. Do you want to go first or you want me to? Well, before we give our gambling picks, you can join us in a pick'em contest at winningcureseverything.com. And guess what? You pick college football, or you pick what? Football pick'em, CFB pick'em, whatever sure. on the website at the top. Go check it out. It's not it's not hard to find. It's real easy. And if you win, thanks to the first couple of weeks, Fitzgerald's going to give you a free night in Tunica. Yep, the Fitz Casino, you get a free couple night. Of, you get couple of buffet two free tickets. buffets. It's not too shabby. So definitely go sign up. All you got to do is put in your email. You're picking 10 games against the spread. Starting Thursday. And then you put in your tiebreaker. Um, yeah. They, no, no, no. Uh, it's all Saturday games. They're all Saturday games? Yeah, because uh, the contest cuts off at 9 a.m. Central Time Saturday morning. So go check Boom. that thing out. Winningcureseverything.com. It's right up there. First game. You want me? Uh, I'll go. I'll go. Go ahead. I don't have a whole lot of logical reason. I didn't like a lot of these games. Well, no, these are these are kind of rapid fire. Got to pick seven. I like Iowa minus ten and a half against Northern Illinois. I think this is a open the season, kick the crap out of somebody you're better than. I've got Northwestern plus one and a half at Purdue on Thursday night, seven p.m. Central Time, ESPN. Uh, the line opened at three. It's moving against me. Uh, but look, Northwestern's going to cut down the number of possessions. They're going to make this slugfest. They are built to win those kind of things. And Northwestern's got the longest winning streak in the country at eight, and they are nine and five straight up on the road the last three years. So I, I will take them over Purdue right now. Got to this earlier in our big game segment, but I like Ole Miss plus two and a half against Texas Tech at Houston. Um, in Houston, I guess. Uh, I, I just think they're the better football team, top to bottom. Yep, that's Saturday, 11 a.m. on ESPN. I've got the exact same thing. This open to pick them and move towards Texas Tech, favored by two and a half. I like Ole Miss here. Uh, look, Tech's defense improved last year, but they were still number 105 in total defense. They were giving up 443 yards a game, and they were number 123 out of 128 in passing defense. Uh, Ole Miss offense is going to be good. They're yeah. going to score. They got eight starters back on offense, and look, Ole Miss wide receivers, they've got a significant height advantage over Tech's DBs, but they got a significant talent advantage yeah. over Tech's that, DBs. About like, this is, it, there's going to be a lot of points here. That's right. whole lot of points here, but roll with Ole Miss plus the two and a half. Just take them straight up. I like it. I got Tennessee plus ten and a half against West Virginia. Okay. okay. I, I like Jeremy Pruitt a lot. Pruitt a lot. I'm uh, staying away from that one. I think they're going to be good this year. I, I think they're going to win a lot of games that, that just people don't think they can win. You're catching more than a touchdown. This is double digits, man. Take the points. Take the big team. Uh, Boise State at Troy. I've got Troy plus 10.5. This is Saturday, 5 p.m. on uh, ESPN News. Uh, look, this will be a defensive football game. While Troy doesn't return their, their all-everything quarterback, uh, I love Boise coming down to Troy, Alabama. The weather's going to be muggy, hot. There's going to be thunderstorms. In Boise, there ain't no humidity up there. And the money all seems to be on Boise. And the line ain't moving. I love that. Yeah. Troy plus ten and a half at home. Vegas is holding it. I, I, you know how I feel about Neil Brown. Oh yeah. So. Oh yeah. I'm not a Brian Harson fan. Like I, I know that's ridiculous, yeah. but well, like he's all like he's he's not awful. Boy, but, boys is going to be good this year, I think. But they're, yeah. I, I, I like Troy. Anyway, next up, my man, the guy that I just love more than anybody else in college football. I'm I'm riding with Mike Leach, and and I'm just going to keep riding the Wazoo. Until I can't ride them no more. Well, you, you got State them at going minus to, one and a half, right? Got, yeah, minus one and a half going to Wyoming. Look, I know Wyoming's going to be good. I know Wyoming is is not, you know, your dad's Wyoming from the past. I don't care. I, you give me a basically a pick em game, they're not going down there and taking an L. They're winning this game. They're going to cover the one and a half. I'm going the complete opposite direction. I love Wyoming this year. 
plus the one and a half. I understand the line is moving against me. It opened three and a half. It's Wyoming plus one and a half right now. This is 2.30 Saturday on CBS Sports Network. Look, it's a trendy pick. I got it because Wyoming absolutely shut down New Mexico State. They ain't going to shut down Washington State that much, but an inexperienced quarterback coming in, running Mike, Le- or Mike Leach's system, like I, they they lost their defensive coordinator. They're trying to find chemistry. Playing at Laramie is a tough place to do it right now. This looks like a Craig Bowl defense to me. This looks like North Dakota State. I'm taking Wyoming straight up. You're laying some heavy points there with those plus one and a half money line dogs. <laughs> Ole Miss at two and <laughs> Wyoming plus Wyoming one and a half. One. Yeah, wow. I don't. Woo. I don't feel good about any of the big ones. I mean, Troy maybe. Like I, I might like money line on that. But my favorite bet of the weekend: Michigan at Notre Dame. Probably the biggest game of the weekend. And uh, Saturday, six thirty p.m. on NBC. I, I think Michigan is just. A lot better than Notre Dame. I, I, I know a lot it's, better. I, it's I, a pick I think, You think it's like care. more than a touchdown? I don't care what the. I don't care what Vegas has a number at. Somebody's got to win this game. I think Michigan's better than them. I think Notre Dame's going to find it very difficult to score at all. I agree. I've got Michigan in that same thing. Uh, Ed Warner is going to revamp Michigan's offensive line. I don't think Clark Lee is as good as Mike Elko at calling a defense. I think Mike Elko is a genius. There's a reason Texas A&M paid him like two and a half million dollars a year, right? Uh, I don't trust Wimbush against Michigan's defense. I do think Patterson can make some th- uh, I, some throws. I like, but this is where we're different. Like, I, Notre Dame actively like Shea Patterson. I don't think he's going to come in here and tiptoe around and whatever. Michigan hasn't had a competent, capable quarterback since Harbaugh's been there. I don't they even think he has to now. be competent or capable. I think he You're can right. make throws against Notre Dame's defense. Notre Dame was number fifty three in the country against the pass last year. Michigan. Goes in, wins the ball game. I completely agree. So it's we completely both got that. Pick. It's my it's my favorite pick of the weekend. Uh, I've got let's see, Middle Tennessee State at Vandy. Vandy minus three is my pick. That's Saturday, six thirty p.m. Central Time on SEC Network Alternative. Oh yeah, you better <laughs> believe even, that. Can't even make their own network channel. They opened up as a six and a half point favorite. It is bet all the way down to I think it's at two and a half now. Actually, like the lower this thing goes, the better I feel about it. Look, Vandy, uh, their line play should crush Middle Tennessee State. Like, they have so much more talent across the board, and nobody thinks that, but, like, it's the truth. You look at recruiting rankings, you look at what they've done. Kyle Shermer is a legit quarterback. He's got actual weapons this year. Uh, I don't, I'm not saying that Vandy's going to be good in the SEC. I'm saying that they are better than Middle Tennessee State. Uh, look, Middle Tennessee State has their senior quarterback, Brent, uh, Brent Stock, still back. But Vandy won 28-6 to last year, and they were awful last year. And they won 47-24 to the year before that against this same Middle Tennessee State squad. So, I'm taking Vandy. I think their line play dominates this game. Look, if you can get them at minus 2.5, roll with that giant. I've, I've got them at minus 3. Do it up, baby. That was more time than we should ever spend on Vanderbilt. <laughs> hey, if you got a good bet, you got to yeah. roll it. It doesn't matter how big yeah. the game is. We're all about winning money here. Money, We're cashing money. checks, baby. Money. Next Cash and tickets. Can't even find that game on TV. People in Nashville <laughs> can't even find that game. The SEC Network. Auburn man. against Washington. This makes me nervous. I never liked betting against Chris Peterson. Now we're getting to a point where I got to pick seven games. I'm going with Auburn. I think they're the better team. I think they've got the most talent from top to bottom. Playing closer to home. They are playing closer to home. Like, Atlanta should be an Auburn town. Like, it, well, it, is. it is an Auburn it town. Is an but Auburn like, town. It they, should they be. They have the biggest fan base. It should and, be stocked. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely stocked in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And it Stadium. probably will be. So, I'm I'm going to roll with Auburn. It's a super small point. If I was laying a field goal or more, I wouldn't like it. Less than that, I'm good. My last game, I got BYU at Arizona. Arizona is an 11.5 point favorite. It opened at minus 13.5. Kevin Sumlin's first game, he's going to go to Khalil Tate early on this one. BYU was pretty dreadful last year. They were 4-9. and nine. They were okay against the run and whatnot. But, look, Arizona was number three in rushing offense last year at 309 yards per game. BYU was number 44. They gave up 250 to uh, over 250 to LSU, Mississippi State, and Wisconsin. I'm not saying that Arizona's got the right offensive line that those guys did, but... They've got two starters back, and all five of them have a ton of experience, and they are huge. I think Arizona's going to run the ball a lot. I think Khalil Tate's going to have a huge first game. People are going to love Kevin Sumlin before he gets into conference play. And then 
we'll see what happens from there. But Arizona minus 11 and a half that Saturday at 945 on ESPN. Completely agree with that pick. I, I, I like that. I like your Troy pick. I like both those picks better than my last pick and better than the pick I'm giving you. But I'm giving you a different pick, so we're not picking the same thing over and over again. <laughs> I like North Carolina to go to Cal. I don't know why. It, because this, everybody in the world is just assuming Cal's going to blow them out. Cal's going to win it. Cal's got the better coach. That line opened North, up at five, North and Carol- it's now yeah. at seven. North Carolina has got guys on suspension. I don't think Vegas is going to take a bath week one. I think they know what they're doing. I'm just going to ride with Vegas. I think everybody's going one way. I'm going another it's the one I feel the least about. I re- Listen, take Troy. It's, it's a better <laughs> bet than them, but if you're going to pick something different, roll with North Carolina. There you go. There you go. Cal's, All right. Cal's trendy. Don't be trendy. That wraps up the college football gambling picks for week one. We'll see you guys next week.